Hello, and welcome again to Let's Play Shadows of Awe. This is Policy of Madness. Last time we did the... Uh, there are people being held in slavery in the Copper Coronet quest. <laughs> and... Now we're on a... What the hell is all this? I don't need to be carrying this around. Uh, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Now we're on a reputation hunt. Our reputation is 17, we want it to be 20. Nothing to it. Vita! Morti! Man, I got so many spells now. Vita! Morti! Not that I'm really whining. Mm -hmm. All right, look at that. Negative nine. That's pretty nice. Hmm. All right. Whatever you want, I'm wait if you say so. Oh dear. Of we got here. Oh, Goblin Shaman. Forward March! Forward March! Oh, Goblin Shaman. I don't think darts actually hit it. There's a uh, quest down here, of course. We're all going to do it. And uh, this one, something will bite you down in this thing, but Stone Skin will actually uh, take care of that. Hmm. The pay gap is the difference between what uh, women are paid and what men are paid. We're talking about the gender pay gap, which I am. Now there are a couple of different ways to measure that. One very common way is to simply yes. measure what men are paid me all for a particular it. job. Just ask. And uh, what women are paid for the same job. I'm waiting. And the difference what between you like? those amounts is the pay gap. Yes. We 
we're not gonna go into there. There's a bunch of myconoids in here. I think they're myconoids. We're not gonna go in there yet. We are gonna go in there though. about the pay gap there is a very common amount dollar amount that's or a percentage rather that's bandied about which is uh, 77 percent meaning that for every dollar that a man is paid for a particular job a woman in an equivalent job is paid 77 cents <coughs> Those kobold uh, shamans are potentially kind of dangerous. <laughs> you definitely don't want to fuck around with them. But without the shaman, kobolds are just kobolds. Alright, here's where we're actually going. <laughs> Apparently eating people has been his Karen Crawler Buddy's friends has Karen Crawler, Crawler Buddy's gift to him. Weird. Apparently, Qualo is lacking in worth. <clears throat> I guess Lilacor won't let people die? Don't really understand that. This is gonna be a little funny. Oh shit! I'm Don't go that way. That's what you want. <laughs> There's a trap in there. We're gonna try to avoid that trap. There are two traps in here. There's one in here, and there's one right here that you can avoid by just not walking over those areas. Okay. So uh, the pay gap, um, the common number bandied about, is 77 percent.
Nero put smack down. Throne of Comfy or pipe that smell not quite so much. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun's above. <laughs> <clears throat> this is really, really hilarious. <laughs> you can pay him 2,000 gold. And he says it's not quite of a, that much of an insult anymore. <laughs> I go beaches and gold. Bye bye. Now I can pick my 2,000 gold back up. Don't actually spend anything. Okay. Can we explore all this? Yeah. Whenever somebody brings up the pay gap and brings up the 77% number, I invariably, I mean, as. As um, predictable as the dawn, okay, here's where the hand goes. Staff is number four. The ring is number two. Ring is number two. Kill his carrion yes. carrion crawler. Um, if someone will come along him. and say that this number is deceptive. Mm, whatever you desire. Women are not um, the like experience and um, length of um, time spent in the field for women is not equivalent to that of men. I just can't carry anymore. You'll pick that up for me, won't you? Because women are yes. uh, leaving the workforce in order to, um, Tell me you know, all about it. have Do have it. families. They have children and raise them, and sometimes leave the workforce for ten or twenty years. Yes. And then when they come back to the job, um, you can't reasonably expect I'm them waiting. to have uh, the same pay as men who have been working there for all that time and have much more experience. Look, look, look. Look. Oh, 
Oh shit. Yeah, whatever you want. You feel I changed you. This is an entirely predictable what development. Like? It seems like it always happens. <laughs> People will say that when you accommodate control for the difference in experience, then the payback gap becomes much smaller. Uh, it becomes, you know, 90% instead of 77%. Or sometimes even less than that. <coughs> You know, in some professions, it may approach parity. Never quite reaches parity. But it can get close. This fight up here is no joke. Very it's not quite as dangerous as the one uh, in the planar prison. Mm -hmm. But it's still not anything to sniff about. Derek is, of course, the most dangerous one here. Right. A quick prayer to Umberly is all that stands between me and the sea's bottom. Sure enough, eh? I like this. Reasons don't matter to the dead. <laughs> Oh. 
Try to get the bull patrols out of here. Tell me okay. You don't live here either. And that gave us a reputation point, which was our whole goal here anyway. <coughs> so... to tell a story about uh, how this pig out thing comes about. Oh shit. If that's what you want. Don't have any more spells? I guess I don't. Okay. There's a trap here. We're just gonna have to eat it. Huh. There we go. Take a story of two people. One is a man. The other is a woman. And uh, these are both educated people. I'm gonna have to dump some shit. Uh, let's say MBAs and they graduate from college and then they get married. They both find work uh, reasonably quickly out of college and the man is making a little bit more money than the woman. Not that much. You know, let's say it's 90% of what or she's making 90% of what he is. You know, just like the much more optimistic people um, want to claim. Yes. Tell me, is that all? Um, hello. That's not actually what I intended to do. But I guess it works. <laughs> I'm waiting up to do it. It's not actually what I wanted to do though. <laughs> Spell immunity.
displayed in your inner side below. Ah, no. If you say so. Plant a blade in your inner side, okay. Will. I guess it was dispel magic. Yeah. I'm waiting. Nothing to it. <laughs> Okay. So I recall there's some traps in here. Don't actually remember where though. So these two are married and they decide to reproduce. And um they uh, come to the decision that one of them should stay home and take care of the kids while they're, you know, still very young. And they're sufficiently affluent that this is something that they're actually capable of doing. They're able to do this. And so they actually do do it. And I'm gonna... I need some knock spells, aren't I? Tell me all about Let's it. take care of anybody else Just around here while we have our summons up. Yeah, I think that was a touch trap. Stone skin takes care of those. Hmm. I'm waiting. Yeah. What would you like? Plant a blade in your inner side. <laughs> just makes sense for the person to do this to be the one who's making the lesser amount of money which uh, ends up being the woman plant a blade in your so inner side build nothing to it. Trust you have no hostile intentions. I'll test your metal with cold steel. Okay. Guess I'm gonna have to rest then. No trouble out of you. Get some knock spells. 
So which one is going to stay home with the kids? Well, you know, obviously it's going to be the woman because she's making less. Whatever you want. And so, uh, you know, that just makes economic sense. Even if these two... I got some cheap beer for you. ...are actually very egalitarian and are quite determined to... Look, look, look. Look. I gotta stop dipping into me own ale. Quite determined to, to do everything in an egalitarian way. If you say so. It just doesn't make economic sense for the uh, man who is making a little bit more money to be the stay at home parent. This contains a sling and like five bullets and has a fireball trap on it. <laughs> We're not gonna fuck around with that. in this way that even a fairly small pay gap doesn't have to be a big pay gap, just a little one uh, causes the woman to be economically disadvantaged over the long term because she's the one who is uh, staying home with the kids and losing out on the economic opportunities that come from working non-stop way her husband does. Nice. Yeah, I did a good little number of traps here. This is a little bit better than this because this only gives an AC bonus, whereas this gives a slight saving throw bonus also. But in reality, both of them really kind of suck. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna total our things back on out of here. If that's what you want. And uh, the story that I've told is not even the whole story. Uh, because women are... Uh, they tend to be shunted into other... Uh, into job um, jobs and career paths that are not as Whatever lucrative as the career paths that uh, men get. I will always be grateful for your assistance. I just can't carry anymore. You'll pick that up for me, won't you? it back to our stash.
And you'll also note that the story that I've told Not is a very specific one. It. Uh, it's referring to women who are middle class and upper middle class, college educated, uh, overwhelmingly white. <laughs> Just ask. Not every woman's experience uh, reflects this kind of, you know, history. Poor women in particular kind of laugh at the idea <laughs> uh, of um, women having a problem with, uh, we're gonna go through here because we're pretty speedy and it's not gonna take us very long. If you say so. In this way, we're able to uh, avoid a couple of traps in that boat, which can be seriously irritating. Especially because we don't have any antidotes on us, do we? Of yeah, course. If we get poisoned, we're uh, potentially in trouble. We should probably remedy that sooner or later. our reputation now? It is 19. Okay. Poor women have never had the opportunity, really, to stay home with the kids. You know, the June Cleaver model? It's, you know, that uh, second wave feminism if that's what you want. really attacked. Uh, rightly. I mean, it was a valid attack. That would need to be housewives. worth a little bit, I think. Alright. I think that's it in here. It's a valid attack. I mean, women should not be shunted into the housewife Whatever role. You desire. But for uh, poor women, second wave feminism was not speaking their language. <laughs> because poor women they have never had the opportunity to stay home with the kids. I mean, poor women have always had to work. And, uh, poor women... So, here's a... Here's another story. <coughs> we have a man and a woman who are both... Uh, Is that all? ...of typical intelligence. Uh, and they have high school diplomas and they've never been to college. And the man goes out to get a job. And he gets a job on a construction site. Nothing to He's it. initially doing basically unskilled labor, but you know, he's a smart person. He's motivated. He's a hard worker. And so he ends up um, attached to a uh, carpenter. You um, have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Doing more or less an apprenticeship. All right. Daddy, Daddy. All right. Let's go, Daddy. Let's go. Whatever you want. Carpentry is a reasonably well-paid profession, so um, this dude uh, with a high school diploma only winds up in a fairly well-paid career. He's not making Just lawyer ask. money, but carpentry is a pretty well-paid profession, so he's doing okay. The woman doesn't even bother trying to get a job on a construction site because she knows they won't hire her. 
What would you like? Instead, she gets a job at, say, a laundromat. And she ends up with a uh, career, if you can call it that. Um, cleaning people's houses, more or less. Where's my junk drawer? Is this the junk drawer? Do I have a junk drawer? Here's the junk drawer. Okay. things. Oh, why are these in here? Those shouldn't be in there. We're going to sell the kind of unique shit. I wonder if I can get money for that. I guess we'll find out. Nothing to it. Have a look at my wares. I trust you'll find them all in satisfactory condition. Cloak of the Shield, and it's worth only one gold. Does I have no charges or something? <laughs> Number of charges is zero. Okay. Well. You look like the sort who has more than two gold pieces to rub together. Let's get rid of it. <clears throat> uh, poisoned potion. Calumshites, Tetherians, Waterdavians, they all make their way here eventually to arm, they do. So there's not just a pay gap. Uh, you know, she ends up um, cleaning houses, we'll say. Cleaning houses can be pretty well paid. It's definitely not... It's definitely not carpentry, though. <laughs> I'll never use lightning bolt. Summon Nishiru. I'm actually gonna... Keep a hold of that. Stone of flesh. We will never encounter anybody who is stone. That needs to be flesh, as far as I'm aware, anyway. <coughs> Oracle. Go ahead and hold on to that for now. We just won't waste our time with this. We're going to keep the monster summoning spell. It may seem weird, but there is a limited but important use for those kinds of low level crappy spells. Alright. There's nothing you that would uh, necessarily prevent women from being... Well, that's kind of a unique... These are unique weapons. From being carpenters. I mean, carpentry is can be physically demanding. If you say so. Uh... But uh, doing laundry is also pretty physically demanding. Laundry is fucking heavy. 
you will find no better prices in our. I guarantee it. And although uh, women are, on the whole, um, a little bit less strong than men, that's mainly a socialization thing. That's it's very little of that is related to. Uh, of course. Actual physical limits. Certainly, the physical demands of carpentry that's what you want. are not such that women are incapable of meeting those demands. You know, carpentry is does not require you to bench lift a thousand pounds. <laughs> So there's really no reason other than sexism for... who's this? Uh, have I ever talked to her? I don't know that I have. Okay. Maybe that's why. She doesn't have anything to say. Is that all? It is good to see you again, my patron. This is like, uh, Macbeth. <laughs> they treat this as being very similar to Macbeth, which is kind of uh, viewed to be cursed, and uh, the actors won't say its name. Life is never dull. They call it the Scottish play <laughs> instead of by the name, and so of course this one's called the Termish play. <laughs> so she's had centuries of practice, she has talent, and she has a great big ego. Life is never dull. <laughs> she may surprise me if she can do the pro role properly. I might be surprised if she's capable of it. Uh, that's not exactly a ringing endorsement. <laughs>
This actually doesn't take that long. Why <laughs> do I start making money? <laughs> Okay, so now we've got our play underway. Nothing to it. And uh, I think that's actually it for this time. Next time, whatever you want. we have one more reputation point to collect. We really need this last reputation point because we're going to be buying some extraordinarily expensive things. And the reputation is going to help us a ton. So uh, next time we'll do that. Join me then. Later.